Hey there everybody, and how are you guys doing today? Joe Marine here with Mobile Cup of Joe, and now that summer is finally here, um, I've got lots of extra time to create videos that aren't necessarily unboxings and reviews of smartphones and tablets, but just general tech videos and other fun how-tos and top fives that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. And as you can tell from the title in this video, I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite applications that utilize material design. Because material design was the new design language for Android that was introduced with 5.0 Lollipop, and although you can find those animations and whatnot through the user interface and the general system for Android, it can be a bit of a challenge at times to find applications and different software that actually uses that same gorgeous design language. So these are five applications I use on a daily basis that still carry over that wonderful look and feel of material design. But before I go any further in this video, I'm going to have to ask you one thing. And that is to please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. And take a swig from your mobile cup of Joe. Alright, so going into the first application on the list, we do have Weather Timeline. So Weather Timeline is, as you would guess, a weather application, but the minute you boot it up, you're presented with this fantastic material design elements right here. You see you've got kind of an interface right here that you can scroll through if you have multiple locations set up to pull your weather information from. Now if you go ahead and hit this plus icon, it will give you a nice material design animation right there, where you can go ahead and type in the location of a city you do want to add. Now if I go ahead and touch Lawrence, which is where I live right now, as the name weather timeline suggests, you do get a timeline, essentially, of all the weather in your area. So at first glance, you do have the current condition. We see it's 74 degrees, you have information for the wind, uh, how intense the wind is, the humidity levels, dew point, what it feels like outside, all that information is right there at the top. And you can scroll through here, see what it's going to be like for the next hour. You can go into the next 24 hours for the day, and see what the weather is going to be like or you can go through the next seven days which is present right here and there's even a time machine option which is a bit of a gimmicky feature where you can essentially fast forward and pick a date in the future and then see what the weather would be like at that date again kind of gimmicky but if that's something you're into it is present here now one really cool addition to weather timeline is if you go to the maps and the satellite maps on here you get probably one of the coolest interfaces i've seen for radar images for the weather you can pinch in and out to zoom and see the weather for the conditions of the location you're looking at. So if I zoom out a bit here, see what's really going on, you see that we do have some storm systems moving right there. And then through this little slider right here, I can actually move this and progress throughout the hours and see where those systems are moving as I go back and forth throughout the time, which is a very nice feature and it moves incredibly nicely. And if you want to get more detailed information or want to see what else you can view, on the map here, simply touch this icon with a nice animation to view things for the rain, clouds, or the temperatures. So all in all, a very beautiful weather application, one of the most beautiful weather apps I've ever found, and it actually makes checking the weather a pretty fun activity. So going next on my list for my top five material design apps is Morning Routine. Morning Routine is an alarm application, alarm clock application, but it's actually got some really nice features to it along with this very, very beautiful design right here. This is honestly probably one of the best looking apps I have on my phone right now. Um, to kick things off, if you want to add a new alarm, just hit the plus button right here, and you get an animation there where you can choose the time for the alarm, the days you want to set, vibration, intensity, volume, and then you get three options down here. You've got one called regular, which will just simply have you pull down on the phone to, to take the alarm off. You can go to scanning right here, and when you press that, you have an option of after you do um, interact with the alarm and turn it off, you can have open a URL, open an application, or a task or task, and then you can just slide over and have it choose a ringtone that you want to set with it. Now if we go to sequence right here, this is probably the coolest feature for the application. You can actually add different sequences in a series of steps to initiate an alarm to turn off. So you can go ahead and choose steps here, so if you want to just have it be a button you need to press or a s barcode you need to scan, you can do that there, and then say just hit button, and then I can choose what I want it to do, if I wanted to open URL, open an app or whatnot, and then I can go over here and choose the 
um, delay between each step. So essentially I can set up multiple tasks. So for example, when my first alarm goes off, I can make it so I have to go scan the barcode on the jug of milk downstairs in the refrigerator because it will only turn that alarm off if I scan that gallon downstairs. And I, if I only scan that certain barcode I initiated earlier within the application, and then I can have it delay 10 minutes and have it scan another barcode somewhere in the house, delay it and have it me press a button on the phone and then open my calendar app. You can really get creative with it and really do whatever you want to do with the sequences. Now from the home screen, you can go ahead and just pull down to get a nice little effect right there with those trees. And then if you swipe out to the right, you get this awesome paper effect right here that just screams material design goodness. Although there might not be a whole lot of features outside of the sequences feature, it's still a really great alarm app and is actually one of the only few alarm applications that really does make me get out of bed and get moving. And for that and this awesome freaking paper effect right here, um, makes it the best alarm clock, alarm clock app um, I've been able to find on the Play Store. Now the third application I wanna look at is one called Wally. -E. Now this is a very simple app. This is just one that you can get to find different wallpapers for your device. You have a few different tabs up here. The first one you're directed to are the most popular and the most downloaded wallpapers on here. You swipe over to the left, you get the most recently added wallpapers. So you can see what's new and what's fresh. Check back here frequently because there are a ton of wallpapers added very, very often. Swipe over again, you have a search bar to search through all the wallpapers available within the application. Swipe over once again and you have an icon that just takes all the wallpapers within Wally -E and randomly mixes them together to give you different results every single time. And to refresh this, just swipe down and you get a nice animation right there that will change all the wallpapers to give you something fresh and maybe something unexpected you wouldn't have thought would look good on your phone before. And swipe over one last time and you'll see all the downloaded or your saved wallpapers you have within the application. Now if you do want to open a wallpaper, simply touch on the icon and it will pop up with a nice animation right there, give you some details about it, uh, when it was added, who the creator was. If you want to see a bigger view of it, just have this expand icon. All in all, just really great stuff with a great search engine built in, nice animations, and all in all, just a really clean and really nice setup. All right, going on next in the list is Pocket Casts by Shift Jelly. So upon opening the application for the first time, or just in general, you will be presented with this disc screen right here that shows you any podcast you are subscribed to. So if you do, do go ahead and touch on a podcast, let's go MCOJ's What's Brewing, for example. You get a nice animation right there with the background being filled with colors regarding and relating to your logo. And then you can scroll through here of all the episodes in that podcast. You can show more episodes if there are more episodes. And then if you do touch one of them, you get a card right here that shows you the title. You can start if you'd like to, shows you if it's played or unplayed, how large of a file it is, and then a link to download it right there. Now, if I do have a podcast playing in the background or playing right now, it'll be on the bottom right here. You can just touch that, and then you can go ahead and play or pause it from here with a nice animation with that button. You can scroll through it with your little icon here going through the length of the podcast. And then you can also swipe over to the right to get a full description for that certain episode, and then swipe over again to see what's up next in that list if there's a podcast coming up in this series you are listening to. Now if we swipe over to the left for our hamburger menu and we go to discover, you have all of the podcasts that are available within Pocket Cast. You have your featured ones right here, trending podcast, top, uh, most popular ones, top videos, networks that are really big for podcasting things, and categories to filter out what ones you are looking for. And in general, it's just a very nice design. Of course, you have material design going all throughout the system, and it just looks gorgeous and makes listening to podcasts a very enjoyable experience. And although it is paid, it's definitely worth the price of admission. Now, the fifth and final application for my top five material design apps is Trello. So Trello is an application that you use to just kind of organize um, different things you have going on. So if you're working on a big project, or planning a vacation or just doing chores around the house. It's a nice application where you create boards and multiple cards for those boards to organize tasks that need to be done, ideas you have. And we actually use it for a whole cup of joe, so you're gonna get a little behind the scenes look at some stuff we have planned for the channel right here. So let's hop into the mobile cup of joe Trello board. But then you can just swipe through here and you see we have it categorized by a few different things, uh, future view units, uh, updates for the site itself, video ideas, videos, 
news and views, um, written reviews, different things like that. And each one of these is a separate board and all these things inside this list are cards. So for example, if I go to uh, this one right here, top five material design apps for the video you're watching right now, you see you get a nice material design interface right here. If you do any scrolling, you get a nice title up there. If I hit the little icon right here, it pops up with items for attachments, a checklist, due date members, and labels. So this will make a lot more sense if you use Trello in the past, especially in the desktop version, but it looks really nice, and especially if you are in a landscape mode with a bigger device like this, you can really view a lot of information at once. And it doesn't have material design really thrown in your face a whole lot, but just the general elements, like viewing this right here and seeing what you can do with it, just makes it look very nice, and it's a small update to the application as a whole but it has enough elements of material design in there to be really nice to use, especially enjoyable here on the Nexus 6. It makes getting work done and the behind the scenes aspects for Mobile Cup of Joe a heck of a lot easier. So those are my top five favorite material design applications. If you'd like me to talk in any more extensiveness about any of these apps right here, or any other apps on the Google Play Store, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. And if there's anything else you wanna know about my smartphone here, my setup I've got, what launcher I'm using, all that good stuff since we do have the summertime here, lots more time for videos. Anything you have for ideas for future videos, leave those all in the comments below. If you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button. If you super duper loved what you saw, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure to follow us on all the socials, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook. And don't forget to check out our website at mobilecupofjoe.com. I've been Joe Marin with Mobile Cup of Joe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have an absolutely fantastic day, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.